Hey, hello over to my balance, and today I'm gonna show you guys a nifty little build that you could do in Monster Hunter Rise Sunbreak. This is an end game build, and it's not necessarily like a max damage build, but I thought it was cool and fun enough to showcase, so uh, this is going to help you get spirit birds faster. You can also use this as a mining or gathering build. Uh, and that actually comes into play with the end game activity, which is anomaly quests. So anomaly quests are basically your endless grind and you have to beat afflicted monsters. Uh, but it's just a usual quest where you go in and obviously these monsters are going to scale infinitely. So as you get higher level, the monsters are going to hit quite a deal harder than they usually would, uh, which of course means that you might want to maximize your health and your stamina uh, via the spear birds. So if you're looking for a quicker way to get your spear birds or just in general farming, then look no further than this build. It doesn't require anything too crazy. Uh, but it is an endgame build because you need to have, at very least, beaten Gormagala, Chaotic Gormagala, uh, to access this build. You can use any Dongo, you don't have to worry about uh, health recovery because it's on the set. So the loadout we're looking at here is, it's a Dual Blades build, but you don't have to play Dual Blades, you can switch in the camp uh, on the quest. But, uh, but generally we're looking at the entire chaotic gormagala set and the reason for that is two key skills uh the skills that we're looking for are strife uh which is going to give us a m infinite stamina effect and that's actually very important uh, because that's how we're going to be running around very quickly the armor set also gives the skill berserk which is going to allow us to basically make all of our hp red which enables the strife effect because strife is affected by how long the red health bar is on your vitality so with berserk the entire bar is is going to be red so you you're going to get the full effect of strife as long as you have enough health we also have evade extender and that's just to move around quicker because we're going to be mainly moving with dodges and we have recovery up and that is just so that we don't die horribly <laughs> all right so i'm in the training area here just to kind of show you what the set does when you go into the blue scroll it's going to give you a full health bar of red and that's also going to activate all of the strife's hidden effects which come in the form of attack elemental attack affinity up most importantly, infinite stamina. We will not be using any stamina when we dodge around like this. As long as our health bar is over 60%. We can use this along with a gourmet fish. This will allow us to prolong the amount of time that we have this ability for. And if we go ahead and throw our recovery up jewels on, this is also going to help us stay alive. You can see now the recovery effect is enough that we're more or less staying at very least alive with this build. We just have to make sure that we have plenty of gourmet fish, which is also where the rest of the skills come in with this build. So most of these skills, such as resentment and coalescence, uh, those are coming with the armor set itself. The things that we have for this build are specifically quick sheath, uh, this is for gathering because we're going to have our weapons out a lot, and even though dual blades has a very fast sheath, we want it to be even faster to kind of fight that efficiency over just using the dog. Another thing that we have is speed eating, and this actually helps us out in two different ways, and I'll show you guys once we get into a quest. And a free meal is also very nice because, well, it's gonna allow you to get a free meal 45% of the time. And if you're using something like a mega demon drug, which you will be using while you have this set on, you're actually going to save a whole lot of materials if you get a free meal on it. Another skill that's quite important for this is Spirit's Bird's Call. And this isn't actually like super important, but it does help out a bit. Spirit Bird's Call is gonna give you a Spirit Bird effect basically every minute. And that's going to allow you to get Spirit Birds a whole lot quicker, especially since we also have the Rampage slot, which is going to be the Spirit Bird Jewel. And that's going to occasionally double the amount of Spirit Birds that we get. As for the optional slots, I have a Divine Talisman with two open two slots for the Medicine Jewels, and I also have the Orzeros Axes. The reason I'm using this is because they have three two slots, which I can slot in my three speed-eating jewels. We have Jumping on the Headgear, we have Sheath, 
and free meal on the helm. We have another sheath on the arm, another sheath on the waist, as well as two more free meals. And then we have medicine, medicine, medicine. So as long as you have a, an equivalent talisman that can get you recovery up two or Spirit Bird's Call and an open slot for recovery up, then you are a happening. But honestly, Spirit Bird's Call is like the most optional thing in this whole set. Now for switch skills, I didn't think that these were going to actually be important, but they actually affect the build quite a bit. Demon Flurry Rush is just better at breaking down Spirit Bird bushes, so it's it's just overall more efficient than Demon Flight. You're not going to be uh, shooting through the air anyway. And Tower Vault is also going to be quite important. This is honestly something I just put on to throw away because obviously we're not going to be doing damage, so Tower Vault just seemed like the best option. But honestly, Tower Vault, the wire bug recovery is actually quite fast and it'll allow you to jump up on a ledge without putting your weapon away. And it actually comes in clutch quite a bit, a lot more than I expected it to. So Tower Vault and Demon Flurry Rush are definitely the ones that you want to grab. Otherwise, your switch skills don't matter at all. All right, now that we're in a quest, let me show you exactly what this build can do. There's going to be items that you're going to use for basically every high tier quest, and that's going to be your demon drug and your armor skin. These things last the whole quest as long as you don't die, and the speedini is going to allow you to consume them a whole lot faster. You're also going to use your gourmet fish because that's going to keep you alive once you switch to your blue scroll and enable infinite stamina. Now, there are a bunch of effects that Infinite Stamina has, one of them being that mainly you can just kind of wall climb forever. You don't have to worry about it. And the main one being is that we can just kind of dash around in demon mode and not have to worry about our stamina. And it's actually quite quick. This, along with the Spirit Bird passive skills, allows us to maximize our Spirit Birds uh, quite quickly, which is quite nice because there is a good chance that when we get a Spirit Bird, it'll actually be two. And we also get an extra Spirit Bird every minute. And with the Quick Sheath, we can quickly gather the augmented or the uh, the amalgamous uh, materials that are going to level up our anomaly quests. Now, there is a downside with this build, and it mainly comes in the form of the Coalescence that you get with this just accidentally. Uh, if you were to augment the Coalescence off, this would actually be a whole lot better. Uh, because we're this, we're not fighting with this build. We're not gonna we're not gonna be busting up any any peeps. I have tried to fight with this build because infinite stamina just seemed really good, but unfortunately the the armor set I feel like doesn't have enough damage for this tier in master mode that it just wasn't worth it. It was taking me way too long to kill things and it was just overall unreliable. But using it as a gathering spirit bird set, uh honestly seems to fill the role perfectly and it's honestly a lot of fun to just kind of run around and uh dash around with without any care in the world but with the coalescence we actually have to be careful we have to play a little bit stealthy uh because if a monster encounters us we will occur we will get the malice and that's going to be an issue uh because we won't be able to do enough damage to get rid of it and it's going to drain our health even faster Here's a, an example of tower vaulting not working, but if we go right to the corner here... Look at that! We didn't even have to put our weapon away. And just like that, we are full on spirit birds, so we can just go ahead fast travel to whatever the target is for this quest. I'm actually doing a Zenogre, which isn't near any of the camps, so I'm just gonna go back. And we're going to be able to speed eat one more time, because if you've gathered Spirit Birds, you're going to have missing stamina. And we can go ahead and just eat a well-done steak, and that's going to fill up our stamina before we go into the camp. And then we can just go ahead and switch to our ice build, because Zenogar obviously is going to be weak to ice. And now we are fully decked out to deal with the Zenogar, and we can just do our quest how we normally would, with having saved maybe... 30 seconds to a minute on spirit birds. Maybe if you're really efficient with this, you can save a lot of time. Uh, obviously, if you get really lucky with uh, the double effects of the spirit birds, then you'll be even faster. Uh, but it also allows you to gather more afflicted material, which levels up your quest and overall just gets you better quests. So overall, it's a really nice. Uh, it's just something that I like to throw on for my beginning of my quest to save me some time, and I thought you guys would enjoy seeing it. And obviously you don't have to play Dual Blades. You can, uh, you can do this with any build, 
that you can change to any weapon, any weapon you want, uh, once you're in the camp. So the dual blades are just there because the dashes are good. Now, before we wrap up here, I would like to uh, mention some of the counterpoints. The main one being, well, why don't you just use the dog? And the answer to that is, well, the dog is a little bit unreliable at times. There are many a time where I push the button and it just don't, it doesn't do, it doesn't do the thing. Uh, and that's, that could be frustrating. Another reason is that the dog does take some time to get into a dash. Also, if you do end up dashing and pick up something like a wire bug, it's going to interrupt your dash. Whereas with the you know, jump it around real fast build. You can stop, pick something up, and then you're right back up to full speed. You don't have to go through the drifting uh, section of the speed boost, which, while it doesn't take a terribly long time, I'm sure that adds up. And I've noticed that my Spirit Bird collection and my mining are, are a wee bit faster, at very least. Like, in the worst case scenario, they're a little bit faster than when I was just using the dog. And you might not also always have access to the dog. If you're a monkey and you need all of the healing that the cat provides because you keep jumping into moves and then wire bugging back into the moves and then wire bugging into them again, then obviously you're probably going to bring your cat with you online and you can't bring both of your pets, so you're going to be left without a dog. And this will allow you to still gather your spirit birds relatively quickly without having to switch to the dog every time. Also, I don't think I sold this quite well enough. Infinite stamina is really nice. It allows you to do stuff like this where you just kind of climb and you, nothing can stop you from getting to where you need to be. Uh, which I, I honestly find really, really liberating. Like, look at that. I'm just going, like, immediately. Now, if I want to ride the dog, I gotta hold the button, and here comes the dog. Now I gotta dash, and there we go. And now I can go over here and grab this, and he's immediately slow again. Now I have to dash again. Oh, but look at this. There's a hole here. I gotta get off the dog now. Also, if you're wondering what I'm using right now, this is an offshoot of the build where instead of getting spirit bird item, uh, spirit bird related and like speed eating and stuff, we actually go and get max geologist and max botany. That way we can mine for points or money. Uh, not really money anymore because obviously we have our event quests that just kind of poop money at this point. But if you need Kimura points for your dash juice from your... Uh, or from your rear finds, from your go see. This is where this build is going to shine because it's going to allow you to gather that stuff a whole lot faster and just get points a whole lot faster. There's a local item out, uh, outcrop right now in the lava cavern, so I decided to kind of showcase this farm, this this gathering side of the build. If you want to go for a more peaceful playstyle, but you still kind of want to, you know, dash around because it legitimately it's just fun. It's just fun to run around uh, with infinite stamina. Like, that, that's a lot of fun. So, I, I hope you guys try it out. It, it's definitely worth it. The Chaotic Gormagala set is a little bit annoying to get. Uh, just remember that his antenna is weak to dragon. Uh, so that should help you get the helmet at very least. But overall, I feel like it, it was a worthy, worthy investment and it's going to save me some time on every single quest that I go on. So, uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoy it. And the main difference between uh, the mining and the bird build is that we're going to use Final Chainsaws Plus instead because they have a four slot jewel and we can get a hard geology jewel in there. That's going to give us Geologist 3 without any further investment and it's just very easy to slot in. Everything else is relatively the same. We do have a little bit less medicine, so we're going to be draining a little bit more health. If I had a better talisman for botany, like if I had a botanist three with two two slots in it or a one slot or whatever if i had options to get more uh recovery up i feel like that would be the option but obviously we want the sheath for this particular set because we're going to be taking our weapon on and off a lot but overall it's just relatively the same build but it allows you to mine instead of get spirit birds so yeah
But that's all I have for you guys today. I hope you guys enjoyed the video, found it informative, or at very least entertaining. Like the video if you liked it, sub to see more like it, and I'll see you in the next video. Give a special thanks to my Patreon supporters who allow me to make videos like this without having to look for sponsorship deals and other gross stuff like that. You can join the group with the link in the description, or if you just want to support me without spending money, go ahead and watch another one of my videos. It really helps. The algorithm is really prioritizing that right now. So, so if you want to be a bro, I'll put another one of my videos on the screen and you could just click that and off you go. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, thanks again. See you guys later. Bye-bye.